Somebody who has so many questions should never talk about bhakti <laughs> because bhaktas have no questions. That's why I'm telling you, well, you people, I'm keeping the bhakti out because you are incapable of devotion. If we talk devotion, you will end up deception. So better just slice everything and look what is inside because your mind is made like this. If I give you this and say, you should never open this. You should never open this. Just keep this with you. This will take you to heaven. <laughs> In your sleep, you will walk, sleep, walk and go and open it. <laughs> Isn't it so? So that's the kind of mind you have. So don't talk bhakti now. We will see when those things change, we'll talk bhakti. Because I am not here to propound philosophies for you. I'm here just to give you a method that works for you, not for somebody else. There was some great bhakta somewhere where he was dripping with ecstasy. It doesn't matter. That's not for you. I am not saying you will never be capable of that, <coughs> but right now, with a thinking mind, a mind which likes logic more than anything else, with this mind, don't talk bhakti, you will just deceive yourself. <coughs> when such a thing comes that your mind and what your mind says is no more significant to you, then bhakti will naturally come, you don't have to do anything about it. But right now, what your mind says is very important for you, isn't it? Yes or no? When what your mind says is important for you, do not talk bhakti. It will be a waste of time and life.